we'll say, okay, how do I train like an athlete? And then we're going to point out our favorite celebrity and we'll look at uh, our favorite basketball player, football player, etc. We need to understand that the higher up that food chain I travel, the less important strength and conditioning is. Um, we're dealing with the 1% of the 1% when we get up into the professional uh, level. If you're trying to mimic those athletes because of um, their stardom, because you love who they are, you're missing uh, the, the bigger picture here. Um, these individuals, chances are, were destined to be a professional athlete from early childhood on. Um, from there, it's less about how strong they are and more about just how gifted of an individual they are. I'm not taking anything away from uh, their hard work and, and what they did to get to that stage. Um, that's all very impressive, um, but we need to understand that as, as general population individuals, um, we don't need to be mimicking their training program as their ceiling is so much higher up than ours. Um, and once you start to grasp this concept, once you start to realize that it was the individual and their giftedness and their talent that got them to that main stage and not necessarily their strength, their speed, um, their power, right? That's a big part of it, but that's, that's not why they got there. You can start to look at their training programs and start to, to say, you know what, this is probably more about just getting them to move. This is more about them just not hurting themselves in the weight room. This is more about just getting them to believe in what they're doing, which is going to have a huge uh, effect on what they're doing uh, on the athletic field or on the court. Um, so. We'll take some examples here. Uh, there's a lot of famous athletes. I won't call out any famous athletes by name here, but there's a lot of famous athletes. They'll post a video of them doing something, um, some type of training routine, uh, you know, squatting, whatever it may be. And, and the comment section always goes wild. You have the group of people who they're their biggest fan. Oh my gosh, like I can't wait to, to, to be at this level one day. I'm gonna start squatting right now. You have the other group of people who are saying, how is this individual a pro athlete? Um, it's not even a squat. Look how terrible uh, that individual looked. I can't believe um, anyone wanna, wanna copy this, right? Um, first off, I think we need to, to kind of back off the negativity, but also I think we need to understand, like you're right. If we were to take some of these individuals and watch the way they squat, and, and knew nothing about them, we would probably assume that they're not a gifted athlete whatsoever. Um, but we need to understand it's not that squat that's making them that good of an athlete. They are that good of an athlete because of who they are, because the years of work on the court, on the field that they did. Um, and it has less and less and less to do every step of the way with how strong, uh, powerful, um, athletic I am in regards to my training. So. If you want to mimic uh, something, I would find that individual who is uh, close to you in age, in training age, um, who is in a similar sport as you, the same sport as you, a guy or a girl on your team, who is the epitome of hard work and strong and powerful and ask them what they're doing. Um, once we start looking at it through that lens, um, I'd be willing to bet that uh, you're gonna find that individual who is saying, well, I have my own coach. Um, or uh, I follow a very rigid training plan or uh, you know I have a nutritionist or whatever it may be you're gonna find that those individuals at your level are the ones who have hired uh, some type of professional to help them gain that advantage at the level that you're currently at